The Phoenix Program. The CIA, in coordination with several agencies, but mainly Arvin forces, throughout South Vietnam from the years of 1967 to its end in 1972, carried out a new attempt at pacification called the Phoenix Program. This program was just one of the shady operations the CIA was carrying out during this time frame in the country. It was the brainchild of the CIA and was carried out with seven different agencies, including Special Operations Forces, U.S. Army Intelligence Collections Unit from the U.S. Military Assistance Command, MACV, SEAL Detachment Bravo, 1st Recon Company, USMC, Australian Army Training Team Vietnam, and Republic of Vietnam National Police Field Force. This program was operated with the use of Provisional Reconnaissance unit, Units, PRUs, and regional interrogation centers. Mainly what this program did was use the search and destroy method, coordinated forces with systematically going through villages in South Vietnam targeting sus suspected Viet Cong guerrillas that were using the village as staging points and hideouts. The program captured these suspected individuals and tortured them, sometimes until they died, and then moved on to the next village. There was also the targeted killings that were coordinated, for, uh, coordinated forces would set out to assassinate certain individuals that were on their radar. Here's a quote from Lieutenant, Vince, uh, Lieutenant Vincent Okamoto, who was, a, in, he was an intelligence liaison officer for the program during 1968 for about two months. The problem was, how do you find the people on the blacklist? It's not like you had their address or their telephone number. The normal procedure would be to go into a village and just grab someone and say, where's Nugent so-and-so? Half the time, the people were so afraid that they wouldn't say anything. Then a Phoenix team would take the informant, put a sandbag over his head, poke out two holes so he could see, put camo wire around his neck like a long leash, and walk him through the village and say, when we go by, Nugent's house, scratch your head. Then that, that night, Phoenix would come back, knock on the door and say, April Fool's motherfucker. Whoever answered the door would get wasted. As, as far as they were concerned, whoever answered was a communist, including family members. Sometimes they'd come back to camp with ears to prove that they killed people. Phoenix neutralized... 81,740 people suspected of VC membership, of whom 26, or 26,369 were killed and the rest surrendered or were captured. The biggest issue was opera uh, operatives would get bad intel most of the time of suspected persons. The South Vietnamese forces would use this program to their own personal beef with any of the villagers.